All right, let's get you more of what CNN News 18 is exclusively gathering. Now, as far as what PFI was up to is concerned, now the agencies believe they were planning terror attacks or strikes or assassinations attempts. Now, RSS leaders were on the radar of PFI is what we're getting to know. There is a spy wing associated with the PFI that was given the task of collecting information about RSS leaders and their movements. They were asked to collect information about their offices, families, cars, guards. Further, the strategy was to share this information with foreign carders or other affiliated terror groups like the LET. In fact, the job of the spy wing was also to create a gap between Hindus and Muslims by portraying a negative image of the RSS. And of course, we see that both in the overt and the covert strategies of the PFI, their main aim was to widen existing social schisms. Let me go across to my colleague Arunima who has been tracking all of the updates on the crackdown. Arunima, it's not really a surprise because I believe the agencies were feeling that the PFI is not only creating a dedicated carder with physical training to carry out physical attacks, but also a list of sorts of a target. In fact, that has been mentioned in the, the FIRs uh, that, that have been lodged uh, yeah. in, in the run-up to these raids. There are five RCs uh, or uh, regular complaints that have been registered. Uh, one from Nizamabad, three in Delhi and one in Kochi. And if you see the common thread in all of that, uh, it is that uh, proper recce was carried out of uh, political leaders, politicians being targeted. And RSS and PFI have a long-standing feud in time and again uh, when a Bajrangdal, a VHP or a RSS uh, Karakarta gets, uh, gets killed in Kerala specifically agencies have for sure found a link to the popular front of India so this information which is coming in about Thalil uh, the spy wing of PFI hmm. um, it's no surprise because uh, what what uh, Manoj Gupta has learned after speaking to his sources in intelligence agencies is that Thalil was given the specific task of uh, you know getting together information about uh, the RSS um, you know Kader and the RSS leaders details about where they are moving how they are moving about um, you know where they could be targeted and and lately they would also started planning the attacks in a way that a public spectacle is made of the killing so yes. that a message goes so all of this is already something that the agencies are aware of and they're collecting evidence to pin it down so that uh, they can they can convict them of these charges in court Arunima, I request you to stay with me. I just want to break down some of the details that we're tracking as far as the RSS attack is concerned or the fact that the RSS was on the radar of the PFI. It's not really surprising, as Arunima was mentioning, uh, from 2010 onwards, uh, people associated with the RSS or with links to other uh, affiliated organizations like Bajrang Dhan and VHP have been on the radar. In fact, they have been back and forth that has been going ongoing on ground between the PFI type organizations and the others. So let's just break down the information that we've gathered as far as the RSS angle is concerned. So the PFI spy wing was tracking movement of RSS leaders is what we've been told. Details on their families, how many guards were protecting them and their movements etc. were being gathered by the spy cell. The spy wing wrecked many RSS shakhas in the past is also something that we're getting to know or the agencies believe. Uh, an info was supposed to be shared with terror outfits in this matter. Now, it looks like the modus operandi was we collect the information, it's easier for us to do it because, of course, PFI was very much homegrown, their members are very much part of the society. But the job of possibly eliminating RSS leaders was, was to be outsourced. Aradima, would I be correct in saying so? That seems like the modus operandi here. Yes, uh, the modus operandi is, is first uh, to, to, you know, pick a target figure out who amongst uh, the RSS leaders or Kader uh, who's killing will strike terror because striking terror as per the investigating agencies was one of the main motives. So first you pick and choose the target, then you ask your spy wing to carry out a proper recce of the movement of this person, when and how he moves, which is the office space, which is the residential area, what is the timing of movement between the two, does he go uh, to the market very often. Once you have done this and prepared your logbook, then the next thing that you do is to choose a place and a weapon of choice. Like I said, they lately have wanted to make a spectacle out of, of these killings and, and uh, to strike terror in the hearts and minds of uh, RSS workers, not just RSS but also affiliates in some places, Bajrangdal and VHP for example. And then 
um, if it comes to you getting arrested, like in the case of, uh, you know, one case that, that recently was cracked in April this year, this was the Palakkad District Secretary of PFI, Abu Bakar Siddiq. He was arrested for hatching a conspiracy to kill RSS leader SK Srinivasan. This arrest was carried out on 16th of April and PFI denied any involvement. So when the agencies go and arrest them, they say, no, no, but we are a social organization. We have nothing to do with this. Yeah. You know, I will come back to you, Aruma, just stay with me because I'm curious to know, uh, especially the element of, in, you know, outsourcing that information or sharing that information with proper dreaded terror organizations. I'll come back to you.